Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in learning about, please stick around. So in today's video, I am going to go over how to create this design right here. This is a nice simple one, it says happy first day of kindergarten. I'm gonna be talking about this niche in general, the you know back to school niche. Pretty much as soon as you start designing for the end of the school year, you should start thinking about designing for the beginning of the school year. So this is a big popular niche. I'm gonna go over how I created this design, how you can make little alterations to it, um, and you know how you can go ahead and market this for different um, in different categories. So if this is something that you're interested in learning about, please do stick around. So um, we are on Canvas homepage. So this is where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna be making a t-shirt style design um, for the first day of school, um, because that is a big one for quarter three. So you, you will wanna start getting those up pretty much as soon as school is ending, you're already thinking about school starting style designs. So I'm gonna start by um, making a custom size design. So hit custom size. And I'm always gonna select 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. Um, that makes for the best t-shirt size. And so I have my blank canvas here. I am gonna go ahead and design, um, I'm gonna optimize for black. Again, dark colors will tend to sell better than lighter colors. So I'm gonna start here. Now I'm gonna make a you know pretty simple design. It's gonna say, happy first day of kindergarten. And I'm gonna show you some fun graphics and things that we can use. So let's go ahead and start with the main image, which I want to do a, a rainbow style design. You'll see a lot of school rainbow designs. And so if I go over to elements and I come up here, I can search rainbow and go to graphics and you'll see all tons of different rainbows that you can use now there are always some uh, school style ones that i like and so if you scroll enough you can find ones that work really well for school so here is one that i used that i really liked um, so this one says teacher life teacher uh, teach love inspire motivate and so here's one that you could use and all you'd have to do if you wanted to is be crop out the bottom and now you could use this rainbow here if you wanted to and so you could you know put whatever you wanted on it that's not the one i'm looking for but just to show you there are you know usually several different um teacher style rainbows there's really rainbows in here for just about everything which is really convenient so I'm just gonna keep scrolling and see if I find any other ones that I really like. This is the one that I wanna go with, but you can see once I click on it, magic recommendations will come up. If I click see all, you will see that there are a lot of different ones. So this is the one that I had used in the past, but you can also see here is ones that have sort of paper clips in them. And so that is interesting. Here's one that just has little dots in it. I like the hearts better than the dots, but you can see there's different styles. And then of course it comes up with a lot of different school style designs. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna stick with this one. I like this one the most and I'm gonna make it nice and big, okay? Now I can't use this as is, right? So we have to make some alterations to it. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put some ABC stuff on top of the apple. And then of course we're gonna add some text and all of that, but it's easy to go ahead and make some alterations. First thing I wanna do is I wanna change the color of this a little bit. So maybe we're gonna add a little bit more saturation and a little bit more brightness because I don't like necessarily how dark or dull it is. I want it to really look like it's gonna pop. So there's my nice saturation and nice brightness to it. So it looks really bright for a kid style design. I really like that. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna go and search for just ABC. If I put ABC, what comes up? All sorts of different ABC type stuff that looks really cool. And so you can go with blocks, letters, you can do your own letters. One that I liked that I thought looked cool was just this right here it says ABC and it's gonna allow me to change sort of some of the colors so I can line that up there. And now if I want to, I can make this ABC pop 
the way it looks on here. Now we did change the highlights of that, so I can go ahead and use my eyedropper tool. Perfect, to match that perfectly. I'm actually gonna change the yellow here too. I want that to match that yellow perfectly. And then for the blue, I think I'm gonna keep the blue and we just really make it pop by making it nice and bright there. So there's a nice ABC, and I think I'm even going to add a little shadow to it too. So one way I can make a shadow on this would be to hit Control D. I've now duplicated it. I'm going to take this duplicate copy. I'm going to make all of the letters on the duplicate copy black. Um, and so I'll just end up with one black version. And with my black version, you can see now how it offsets. I'm gonna take my black version and I'm gonna send it to back. So the way I'm gonna do that is hit control and then your left bracket, and that will send it back one layer. And so now I've got this cool shadow on my ABCs. Um, and so that is one way that you can do it. And of course you can add whatever kind of flares that you want to this to kind of make it your own. But that's one easy way that we can just sort of change up that design. But again, so many ways that you could just go about doing this. In fact, if I wanted to, let's see, maybe I could, let's go with pencil. I've got an idea, whether or not it's a good idea or not, I've got it. Um, double click, bring it down, take this eraser bit, and Maybe get a better eraser on there so I could do something like that to get a little bit of a different eraser look. Yeah, there we go. So I could do something like that. So now my pencil looks a little bit different now that I've got that eraser on it. And I could, again, if I wanted to edit the image, I could play with um, some of the tones in here. Again, this one's not going to let me do too much with it. Um, but you could, you know, sort of play with some of those colors. And I could, again, look for other erasers or other pencils that I think look cool. But that's just how you can sort of, again, play, make your own. Oh, I liked those lines. Um, anyways, sorry. Off on a tangent there. So there is my, my cool um, rainbow, my school style rainbow that I'm going to go with. Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put kindergarten in here. And so one fun secret is if you have a word and you want it to look decorative, sometimes that word already exists. So for example, if I type in the word kindergarten, first thing that pops up is the word kindergarten. Um, and so here's my word kindergarten and it is in a really cool, as you can see, style. So I can use this style here and it looks really nice. And then I can change the colors up here again to match that pencil. So, so those yellow colors there can look nice. These pinks I can make match the pink on the pencil, on the hearts so that those match really nicely. Some of the light blues I'm gonna make match the blue there. Um, what do I got? This orange color I'm gonna make into this bright green color. And then sort of this dark color I'm gonna make into the nice red that's on the apple. So there we go. So now I've got this really cool kindergarten style. Let's go with the orange there. There we go. So I do want it to be able to stand out and read. So if I have it on a dark shirt or a light shirt, you know, that's gonna be easy to read there. So I like the way that looks. So anyways, point with that was just, if you have a word that you wanna put, if you write that word in here, you might find a decorated version of that word that you can work with. And so that is one of the cool things I like to do. So now that I have kindergarten, I can work with it that way. And in fact, if I want to get a little bit of an outline around it now, one fun thing that I can do that I think I will do is add a page. I'm gonna take kindergarten down here and I'm gonna go ahead and download kindergarten right here. I'm going to download this. I'm going to make it a transparent background. I'm just going to do this page because once I get this as sort of an image that I can save, I can use some photo effects on it and that would be cool. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to uploads. I'm going to upload that, my kindergarten word. I'm going to take that upload 
And I got it right here. There we go. So now the fun thing, what I can do with it now that I couldn't do with it before would be to add photo effects to it. So now I can go to edit image and if I want to, now I'm on the old editor just so that you're aware. So the old editor, I'm gonna go to the shadow feature and I think I'm gonna go with the glow and let's go ahead and we'll put a nice light white outline around it just to really make it pop a little bit more. So no blur, no transparency. I'm gonna add a little bit of a white outline. So that is a 10 right there. Let's see, give it a second. And so now we've got the little outline around the side of it. Perfect. Real simple, easy, but it just helps those letters pop even more. And now this is unique because nobody else has one that has the outline around it. I could not have done that here. So here it wouldn't have let me. I could have gone to edit image, but it wasn't gonna let me add an outline around it that way. So I can get rid of this now, I don't need that. But see, that was one way that I was able to kind of make that my own. I think I'm gonna use a little chalk outline under here too, because I think that'll look cool. So I'm gonna go back up to elements. Let's go ahead and just put chalk. Now some really cool photos come up, by the way, if you pick chalk, you can get some cool chalk drawings here. So lots of fun chalk things that you could do for school. Um, so when we're looking at back to school style designs or school designs in general, just be aware if you type chalk into your searches, you can come up with a lot of really fun, and hey look, here's the word chalk written out looking like chalk. Here's a little graduation chalk thing. So lots of fun chalk stuff. So I am just going for a nice chalk line, hopefully something that's pretty simple. So let's see what I've got here. So here's a little chalk line there. Is it gonna let me, let's take that. That doesn't really look like chalk, that looks like grass. And it's kind of big, it is grass. Let's see, I wanted more of just a chalk line. What do I got here? Here's a chalk line. But that's a little too dark. Let's say the see all magic recommendations. Those are all dark lines. I really want a chalk looking line. So here's a chalk line. That one's a little thick. A little thin, here's another chalk line here. Is this one too dark or is this gonna give me a nice chalk look? Ooh, I think this one's good. And, oops. By the way, if you accidentally move something before you panic, just hit your back button and it'll take it right back. So I do that all the time, no worries. Get my chalk line here. Bring it out, there we go. I like that. So that looks like chalk. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some text up here. So I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard to pull up a text box. I'm gonna do this in all caps and I'm gonna put happy first day of. And so this is gonna say happy first day of kindergarten. I'll move it up here. Now I do need it to be a nice light color. I'm thinking we might go with white. Um, let's start off by making it white and if I decide to change colors after it, we can. So here is my nice, white happy first day of. Now I want a fun font, something that's you know more kid looking. Um, so for fonts, you can look for handwritten, you can look for kid, um, fun. Those are all great search terms that you can look for and you can go through all different, you know, different fonts. Um, some of the good ones here that look really nice for kids, more sugar thin usually looks pretty good. Um, I like, um, handy casual, that's another one that I like to use. The one that I was gonna use here, if I find it, is uh, One Little Font. And that's another just little kid one that looks pretty nice. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is, One Little Font. And that gives it sort of that kid look. It gives it a little bit of a messy look, again, because it's kindergarten. It's not gonna be super clean. So there's your One Little Font. Um, but again, you can play with any of these. Maybe I will go back up and look at the other two again just to make sure that those are the ones I wanted. More sugar thin kind of looked nice. Happy first day of. And then handy casual looks a little too clean. That one might work. But I'm going to have to shrink it down a little bit. 
let's see. Let's go to effects. I'm going to curve this. I'm going to curve it around my rainbow. Something like that. And let's see how that looks. Happy first day of. Not as bold as I would like it to be. Let's try let's try the one little font again and see if that looked any better. My one little font there. I can make it a little bit bigger and I can make it bold. And so I think that is gonna be the one that's gonna work the best. So let's go there, back to my effects. I'm gonna curve it a little bit more. Something like that. So there's my happy first day of kindergarten. It's very cute, I like it. Um, do I wanna spread the letters out anymore? No, I like it. We can play with the color here of the font now if we wanted to. I like the whites. It kinda of goes with the white down here and it gives it a little bit more clash, but you wouldn't be able to put this on a white shirt. But we could put it on, again, a nice dark shirt, dark navy blue or black is gonna sell again really well. I could, again, make this a color, but I would want it to pop out really nicely. And if I was gonna go with any of the colors there, I don't know. Happy first day of kindergarten, happy first day. I suppose if I'm making it a girl shirt, the pink might look nice. I think I'm just gonna stick with the white though. So there is my first day of kindergarten shirt. Now it's sitting a little lower on the page than I'd like. So again, don't worry where something is on your page until the end. Once you're all done at the end, all I'm gonna do is left click, hold it down, drag over everything so that it's grouped together. And now as one big group, I can move it, I can resize it, position it, and now it is where I want it on the page. And so now it is ready to go. And I think it would look really good on like a teacher shirt. And so you could market this for kindergartners. You could also market it for kindergarten teachers. So happy first day of kindergarten. Now you could also put up multiple versions of this, one that looks just like this and maybe one that puts the year on here. So if you wanted to put 2023 to 2024, like for the school year, pros and cons of that is you know the pro is anybody who's looking for one that customizes for the year that's great the con is once you put it up once that you know year is done you'd have to make another one for the next year and another one for the next year and another one for the next year because nobody will buy a 2023 shirt in 2024 but if you've got spaces to put up multiple versions that's one way to go so anyways happy first day of kindergarten you can go ahead and make lots of first day of school shirts, make them for preschool, make them for kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, make them for teachers, make them for students, make cute ones, you know, like this, little fluffy ones, make ones that say, I'm gonna crush kindergarten or ready to crush kindergarten, your monster truck ones, your dinosaur ones, so lots and lots of different ways you can go with this niche. It is a huge one every year, um, so, you know, it's definitely worth trying to get into. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope to see you guys again and again. I hope you guys are preparing for your quarter three sales because quarter three is coming up in just about a month here. All right, take care. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.